Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed, save me, and I shall be saved, for you are my praise. But I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord, because you are called an outcast, Zion for whom no one cares. Behold, I will bring to it health and healing, and I will heal them and reveal to them abundance of prosperity and security. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am languishing. Heal me, O Lord, for my bones are troubled. The Lord sustains him on his sickbed. In his illness you restore him to full health. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. A joyful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. And the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick, and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. Beloved, I pray that all may go well with you and that you may be in good health, as it goes well with your soul. Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me and I will be saved, for you are the one I praise. Is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven. He said, if you listen carefully to the Lord your God and do what is right in his eyes, if you pay attention to his commands and keep all his decrees, I will not bring on you any of the diseases I brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord, who heals you. Worship the Lord your God, and his blessing will be on your food and water. I will take away sickness from among you. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering, yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him and by his wounds we are healed. But I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. See now that I myself am he. There is no God besides me. I put to death and I bring to life. I have wounded and I will heal, and no one can deliver out of my hand. If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayers offered in this place. You restored me to health and let me live. Surely it was for my benefit that I suffered such anguish. In your love you kept me from the pit of destruction, you have put all my sins behind your back. I have seen their ways, but I will heal them. I will guide them and restore comfort to Israel's mourners, creating praise on their lips. Peace, peace, to those far and near, says the Lord, and I will heal them. Nevertheless, I will bring health and healing to it. I will heal my people and will let them enjoy abundant peace and security. Dear friend, I pray that you may enjoy good health and that all may go well with you, even as your soul is getting along well. And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. My son, 
Pay attention to what I say, turn your ear to my words. Do not let them out of your sight, keep them within your heart, for they are life to those who find them and health to one's whole body. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. There is a time for everything, and a season for every activity under the heavens, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to search and a time to give up, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. Lord, be gracious to us, we long for you. Be our strength every morning, our salvation in time of distress. Therefore confess your sins to each other and pray, for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. He himself bore our sins, in his body on the cross, so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. He gives strength to the weary, and increases the power of the weak. No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. He sent out his word and healed them. He rescued them from the grave. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. Lord my God, I called to you for help, and you healed me. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them, he delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and saves those who are crushed in spirit. The righteous person may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all, he protects all his bones, not one of them will be broken. Evil will slay the wicked, the foes of the righteous will be condemned. The Lord will rescue his servants, no one who takes refuge in him will be condemned. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I am faint. Heal me, Lord, for my bones are in agony. The Lord protects and preserves them. They are counted among the blessed in the land. He does not give them over to the desire of their foes. The Lord sustains them on their sickbed and restores them from their bed of illness. I said, Have mercy on me, Lord, heal me, for I have sinned against you. He heals the brokenhearted, and binds up their wounds. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures, he leads me beside quiet waters, he refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. 
You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Hear, Lord, and be merciful to me, Lord, be my help. You turned my wailing into dancing, you removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Jesus went throughout Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and sickness among the people. News about him spread all over Syria, and people brought to him all who were ill with various diseases, those suffering severe pain, the demon-possessed, those having seizures, and the paralyzed, and he healed them. Jesus called his twelve disciples to him, and gave them authority to drive out impure spirits, and to heal every disease and sickness. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons. Freely you have received, freely give. On hearing this, Jesus said to them, It is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners. Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and sickness. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. One day Jesus was teaching, and Pharisees and teachers of the law were sitting there. They had come from every village of Galilee and from Judea and Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was with Jesus to heal the sick. Some men came carrying a paralyzed man on a mat and tried to take him into the house to lay him before Jesus. When they could not find a way to do this because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and lowered him on his mat through the tiles into the middle of the crowd right in front of Jesus. When Jesus saw their faith, he said, Friend, your sins are forgiven. The Pharisees and the teachers of the law began thinking to themselves, Who is this fellow who speaks blasphemy? Who can forgive sins but God alone? Jesus knew what they were thinking and asked, Why are you thinking these things in your hearts? Which is easier? to say, your sins are forgiven, or to say, get up and walk, but I want you to know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. So he said to the paralyzed man, I tell you, get up, take your mat and go home. Immediately he stood up in front of them, took what he had been lying on, and went home praising God. Everyone was amazed and gave praise to God. They were filled with awe and said, We have seen remarkable things today. And a woman was there who had been crippled by a spirit for eighteen years. She was bent over and could not straighten up at all. When Jesus saw her, he called her forward and said to her, Woman, you are set free from your infirmity. Then he put his hands on her, and immediately she straightened up and praised God. One Sabbath, when Jesus went to eat in the house of a prominent Pharisee, he was being carefully watched. There in front of him was a man suffering from abnormal swelling of his body. Jesus asked the Pharisees and experts in the law, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath or not? But they remained silent. So taking hold of the man, he healed him and sent him on his way. Then he asked them, If one of you has a child or an ox that falls into a well on the Sabbath day, will you not immediately pull it out? And they had nothing to say. Stretch out your hand to heal and perform signs and wonders through the name of your holy servant Jesus. After they prayed, the place where they were meeting was shaken and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God boldly. 
There he found a man named Aeneas, who was paralyzed and had been bedridden in for eight years. Aeneas, Peter said to him, Jesus Christ heals you. Get up and roll up your mat. Immediately Aeneas got up. You know what has happened throughout the province of Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power, and how he went around doing good, and healing all who were under the power of the devil, because God was with him. As he was going into a village, ten men who had leprosy met him. They stood at a distance and called out in a loud voice, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. When he saw them, he said, Go, show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. One of them, when he saw he was healed, came back, praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him, and he was a Samaritan. Jesus asked, Were not all ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give praise to God except this foreigner? Then he said to him, Rise and go, your faith has made you well. While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. After saying this, he spit on the ground, made some mud with the saliva, and put it on the man's eyes. Go, he told him, wash in the pool of Siloam. So the man went and washed, and came home seeing. His neighbors and those, who had formerly seen him begging asked, Isn't this the same man who used to sit and beg? Some claimed that he was. Others said, No, he only looks like him. But he himself insisted, I am the man. How then were your eyes opened? They asked. He replied, The man they called Jesus made some mud and put it on my eyes. He told me to go to Siloam and wash. So I went and washed, and then I could see. As soon as they left the synagogue, they went with James and John to the home of Simon and Andrew. Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they immediately told Jesus about her. So he went to her, took her hand and helped her up. The fever left her, and she began to wait on them. That evening after sunset the people brought, to Jesus all the sick and demon-possessed. The whole town gathered at the door, and Jesus healed many who had various diseases. He also drove out many demons, but he would not let the demons speak because they knew who he was. While Jesus was still speaking, someone came from the house of Jairus, the synagogue leader. Your daughter is dead, he said. Don't bother the teacher anymore. Hearing this, Jesus said to Jairus, Don't be afraid, just believe, and she will be healed. When he arrived at the house of Jairus, he did not let anyone go in with him except Peter, John and James and the child's father and mother. Meanwhile, all the people were wailing and mourning for her. Stop wailing, Jesus said. She is not dead but asleep. They laughed at him, knowing that she was dead. But he took her by the hand and said, My child, get up. Her spirit returned, and at once she stood up. Then Jesus told them to give her something to eat. Her parents were astonished, but he ordered them not to tell anyone what had happened.